Today you will learn how to create this procedural material in Blender. It contains two materials going through a mix shader. A noise texture which is connected to a color ramp acts as a factor on the mix shader. In short, the noise texture which is connected to a color ramp is a masking tool on the mix shader. We will keep the default cube because that is where the material is going to be put for preview. Go to modifier properties and add a bevel modifier to it. Bevel amount to be 0.1, adjust number of segments to be 4. Right click on this cube and shade smooth. Switch to shading workspace, then reduce world opacity, all the way to 0. You can see that this cube already has a material, we don't have to create a new one. Change this base color to a color similar to this one. Add a Voronoi texture and put it here. Add a noise texture and put it here. Add a color ramp and put it here. Select these and move them to the side to create some space. On Voronoi texture, on F1, change it to be distance to edge. Connect distance from Voronoi to vector of noise texture. Connect factor from noise texture to factor of color ramp. Then connect color from color ramp to specular and roughness of principal BSDF. If you zoom in this cube you can see the effect on the specular and roughness can be noticed. Make sure that you have enabled Node Wrangler add-on in the preferences. Click on Voronoi Texture, then press Ctrl T, in order to add the mapping and texture coordinate. On the texture coordinate change from generated to object. On Voronoi Texture, adjust scale value to 6, and randomness to be 0.2. You can already see some change on the cube here. On the noise texture, scale value to be 0.6, detail to be 5, and distortion to be negative 0.1. For the effect to be more visible, you need to adjust the color ramp. Select this black color, slide it to this side and make it to be gray. Adjust its position value to be 0.45. Select this white and slide it here as well. Adjust its position value to be 0.55. Now the effect is more visible. Select this gray and lighten it up a little. And if you also feel that this color is too light, you can make it darker as well. It is time to create the second material. Shift D to duplicate this principal BSDF. Change its color to white. Add in a mix shader and connect it here. Connect this white principled BSDF to this mix shader. Now it's time to create the mask. Shift D to duplicate this noise texture, then bring it here. Connect vector from mapping to vector on this noise texture. Shift D to duplicate this color ramp and bring it up here and change this gray color to black. Connect factor from noise texture to factor of the color ramp. Connect color from this color ramp to factor of the mix shader. Now you can see the result. The second material should be metallic. Therefore on this principled BSDF set metallic all the way to 1, and roughness to be 0.17. Adjust the color ramp to achieve different results. Set position of this black to be at 0.7, and this white to be at 0.45. On this noise texture, scale to be 0.2, set detail value to be 8, and roughness to 1. If you continue to adjust the roughness you can see the effect. Set distortion to be 0. In order to scale the mask together with the patterns of the first texture, you need a value node. Set its value to 1, then connect it to scale on mapping. Now if you adjust this value, you can see the effect it generates. A value of 0.7 looks good. You can change this color to something else if you want. Even the color of the metal can be changed to however you might like. This is how the material setup looks like, in case if I didn't come out clearly.